Hey everybody, welcome back to Matt Kiteboarding Wing Wednesdays. I'm Tucker, and today we're gonna have a look at the new Cabrina Mantis V3 and the Vision version one. These are two of the Cabrina wings for this year, for 2023. Uh, so some exciting stuff out there, the Vision being a new a model in their lineup and the Mantis continuing uh, its legacy as kind of their standout wave free ride wing. Um, so we're gonna give you a quick review on these, how they differ, how they're the same, uh, and maybe which one might be right for you. So hang around if you wanna see that. All right, so we've got the new wings here from Cabrina, the Mantis V3, V3, and the Vision wing. As you can tell, the outlines are very similar. Those are both five meter sizes and just some, uh, some slight differences in the shape. That's gonna help you determine which one's right for you. Uh, but before we do that, let's look over some of the fine details here. Uh, front here, we got our nice surf handle. It's very stiff, uh, almost plasticky, but really comfortable, easy to control the wing when you're luffing. Nice uh, soft pad underneath it. You notice I have a leash on here. This is not a Cabrina leash. They do not come included uh, for 2023. I repeat, they do not come included for 2023. Uh, so that allows them to keep the price a little lower. You can choose whatever wing leash you want, or maybe you already own one and don't need to buy another, so you can save some money. So that's great, just as long as you know it doesn't come with one, so you don't go down to the beach to ride your new wing and not have a leash. Coming down here, we've got our new Cabrina hard handle system. This is brand new for 2023 and featured on all of their new wings. As you can tell, it's got a nice long span here, nice grippies on here. It's a really ergonomic shape, not just round, it's kind of, uh, kind of rounded on the inside and a little narrower, but then a little fatter and more square on the outside. So really comfortable, nice feel on your fingers, very easy to kind of grip it with your fingertips like that. These little, bra uh, excuse me, these little uh, gray pieces here are actually like a rubbery material so that if it whacks you or whacks your board, hopefully it doesn't ding it, uh, which is a nice, nice touch. And it's on the inside as well. You can kind of see these little knurled spots here where it's really comfortable to grip the front hand like this uh, if you're in an attack or if you're surfing uh, off the front handle like that. Really comfortable direct input into the wing. Same thing in the back. You can tell I've got a rope harness line on it here like that. Works great. You can also detach these screws and put on a windsurf style uh, harness line, which works as well. You notice this little bushing here um, underneath. You can actually remove these. Um, you can remove one or both just to change the angle, to change the height of this. Um, personally, I think the stock height with the bushings installed uh, work great, it's perfect for me. It's easy to find that blindly, especially if you have thick gloves on, uh, not gonna have any issues there, but maybe if you have small hands, you never wear gloves or something, maybe you want that a little tighter to the wing for some reason. But yeah, it gives you some options to play around with, uh, something that I've not seen in any other wing brand, so something unique to Cabrina uh, and their, their team and that innovation, so that's cool. In terms of inflation, we have a Boston style inflate valve here. It's a one pump system. So pump up the leading edge, it pumps up the strut. Uh, it does have two strut hoses here. One and two. Whoop. Woo! Flying away. All right. Uh, so yes, two strut hoses here, to, which makes inflation quick, deflation uh, pretty quick. You can also use the nine millimeter deflate valve here. Uh, that works great in most conditions. In freezing conditions, it doesn't work at all. Uh, so then you have to evacuate through the hoses, but it's pretty quick since these hoses are a decent diameter and there's two of them. Uh, I've also got these new screw-in style kind of direct elbows. So that makes service uh, and any kind of repairs that need to be made really easy and quick. Uh, solid connection. You're not just going to grab this by accident and rip it off. So that's nice to have with these strut hoses, especially, you know, if you're way offshore and you accidentally snag one of those, <laughs> hopefully it won't pop off. Uh, that would be a bad situation. So uh, it's nice to have those new screws type, which are more durable and reliable. Uh, coming to the window here, 
Got a nice big window, as you can see on both of these wings. A lot of real estate there. So yeah, it gets, gives you a good view um, when you need it. I end up, you know, looking out kind of this portion more than anything, looking through, you know, this portion over the boom when you're riding. Uh, the wing has to be pretty vertical to do that. Uh, so maybe this portion of the wing window just isn't all that necessary, but maybe somebody else would say the opposite. So <laughs> it's there if you need it. It's not, uh, it doesn't really bother you if it, if it doesn't. Um, canopy material is the Nano Ripstop, which is a really awesome canopy material. Uh, it's a two by two ripstop, but as you can tell, the, the space between the ripstop strands are, are much smaller. So you get a lot more threads in there. It's very stiff, it's very uh, strong, a lot of longevity in a, in a Nano Ripstop canopy like this, and uh, really translates nicely as a winging fabric. Got a nice baffle behind the wing here to create that wing shape. Has a little breathe panel in the front and the back there. Um, just make sure that whole sail is getting all the pressure that it can. And also kind of nice in the trailing edge there, you can hook a camera on the back end if you wanted to and um, loop it around the strut. It's a nice place to mount that. So yeah, that's the Mantis. And, and really all those details are the same on the Vision as well. So you kind of get a real similar outline features etc similar price point on these wings so the big question is which one do i choose and why and what i would say is it comes down to the type of rider that you are uh, and the kind of wing that you want the mantis is definitely more surf focused if you're a person that's riding in the swell doing downwinding really looking for that ultimate surfing type wing the mantis is the clear choice especially if you've already had some of the groundwork you're not a brand new rider of course you can always step in with the mantis as a brand new rider but the Vision does have some benefits uh, to new riders that I think most people will find really appealing. And to be fair, the Vision's a pretty awesome surf wing as well. So really not a lot of uh, drawback there. The Vision is going to be a bit more pull and go, we call it. Um, and that is because of a couple reasons. Number one, it's got a little deeper profile. Uh, the wing tips twist in a little bit more. So that kind of preloads the canopy. So when you pull on it, it's already ready to power up and go. Whereas the, the Mantis, you know, flexes a little bit, you know, maybe it has to kind of fall into position before it really powers up and feels solid to pull on. Um, so for that reason, the Vision pumps a little easier. Uh, it's a bit more pull and go and you just kind of grab it and go. It, you can feel that power immediately and it wants to accelerate and take off without much uh, input from you or, or difficulty really. Additionally, the, the Vision has a little bit more dihedral. Um, so if you look at the top of the wing here and how that kind of V's out away from the boom, um, there's more of it in the Vision than there is in the Mantis. And what that does, is number one, keeps your wingtips off the water when you're pumping and when you're cruising on the water so they don't get in the way or drag in the water as easily. Um, but it also tends to kind of create a bit more ease of use. You know, if you're transitioning, if you're in a jibe attack and, and just switching hands and, and getting the wing to move from one direction to the other, that happens a little bit more naturally. And, uh, you know, just that, that shape is, is a bit more balanced and just easy to ride for new riders. Um, just kind of pull and go, don't need to think much about it. It's a little less finicky with regard to sail angle as compared to the Mantis, I would say. So just, you know, a smidgen easier to ride, a bit more, you know, beginner intermediate focused, definitely more free ride focused. Um, and, and, you know, if you want a big wing for light wind, the Vision is phenomenal in the big sizes. Um, so if that's your goal to ride in underpowered conditions, you know, the Vision is, is an awesome choice, especially in those big wings where those wingspans really get, you know, more difficult to manage. It's, it's gonna be nice on the Vision, so. Yeah, minor differences, you know, if I didn't show you the labels and I told you these were the two that were the same wings, you'd probably, <laughs> probably would believe me. Uh, but there are some minor changes in these wings that really make them a little different from one another and just refined a little bit more depending on what kind of riding you're doing or what stage you are in your progression. So hopefully that clears things up for you guys. Really, both of these wings are phenomenal. I'd, I can grab one of these in almost any condition and go out and ride almost any riding style and have a lot of fun. So they're a real versatile, fun wing. Maybe not hyper-focused on one style of riding. You know, maybe the Mantis would be, you know, more focused on wave in that way. But, you know, it's still versatile enough that, again, anybody can grab this wing. Uh, beginner, advanced, you know, wave rider, racer, jumper, whatever, and have a lot of fun. So 
Really fun wings, well constructed, well thought out. And, uh, oh, I forgot to, to show you the bag. So Cabrina has come out with what I've dubbed the mom purse style bag. It's basically like a big duffel bag, um, but I really like this bag. It doesn't amp up the cost of your wing when you buy it. Uh, it's not a fancy $100 backpack they force you to buy. Uh, just a functional duffel bag style. You can fit, you know, two, maybe even three wings in one of these. And uh, any other gear that you want to throw in here for the day. It's very lightweight, easy to travel with. Um, so it's just a nice quality bag that that's everything you need it to be and nothing you don't. So stoked on the bags and uh, not, not overdoing it and, and making you uh, pay for a bag that you really don't need. Oh, I almost forgot guys. I like to always kind of poke at something I don't like about a wing. Honestly, I really like both of these wings. I would say, you know, if there's anything I don't like, I do think they are pretty similar to both belong in the same lineup. Um, I would have liked to see a little bit more differentiation between the models, but I don't know. I, I really like them both. So maybe that's not the case. I just think, uh, you know, you're throwing in a, a lot of extra questions and, uh, and decisions out there when, when they are so similar. And, and I would probably like to, to see two individual Boston valves here for, for independent inflation. Uh, oh, and I almost forgot to, uh, strut clamps would, would have been a nice, uh, feature as well here. So you can isolate those bladders, especially in a situation, uh, we're near an, a lot of current or offshore a long ways. Um, being able to isolate the bladders really does keep it safer uh, so that, you know, if one bladder fails or you have an issue, the other one can still be used as a flotation device. So, I'm, you know, again, I'm nitpicking here. These are great wings, but you guys always like to hear something that I don't like. So that's about it for me. Really great wings. Excellent job, Cabrina team. Uh, really stepping it up uh, in, in your wings and having a lot of offering this year. I should mention uh, the Mantis also comes in an, a Mantis Apex construction, uh, which has some new frame material that's comparable to like a Hokipa or a Lula or Enweave. It's gonna be stiffer. The frame is a little smaller and more sleek. Uh, so it'll be faster, more efficient, a little bit more range on the top end. When I get my hands on one, I'll be sure to review it for you guys. But at this point, I haven't gotten one yet. So we'll have to wait, I guess. Um, but these are the two wings most people are going to be interested in, I think. They really fit within most budgets. You know, for most riders, there's no need to upgrade to that uh, Apex material. So, there it is. And uh, as I said, if you have any questions, put those in the comments section below. Reach out to the shop. Uh, go ahead and send us a website chat. We'll get you taken care of. Uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Share with a friend. This has been Tuck with Matt Kiteboarding, and we'll see you next time.